All right, guys, let's start off with something nice and simple with resistive circuit. Number one, what do we got here? We got 120 volts, so that's our source here. Uh, and you'll see that these guys are going to be our mirror image because all we have is an AC source and we've got one resistor. So we can transfer that voltage over here, that 120 volts go here. If you want, you can keep track of all your voltages here, but they're going to be mirror images of everything. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? We got uh, 1400 ohms or 1 1.4 kilo ohms. So you can use, there's two things you can do here. Let me um, do it on either side. So here we can go 1400 ohms and we'll keep the other side at 1.4 kilo ohms. So there's two answers we can have here, right? If you take the 120 and you divide it by uh, 1.4, you're going to get 85.7 milliamps. Right, so right here, if we go 120 divided by 1.4, this is going to give you 85.7. The units for that are going to be in milliamps. We're dividing by thousands of ohms here, right? So we're going to get one one thousandth of current. So just to show you that you don't have to do the conversion over here to 1400 ohms. If you know what you're dividing by, right, one one thousandth of ohms, Sorry, thousands of ohms, then you're going to get one one thousandth of current. Right? Over here, the 120 divided by the 1400 ohms, if you chose to take that route, then the answer here is going to be give you on your calculator point zero. What's going on time today? Zero eight five seven. And that's going to be in amps. Right? If we look here, we've got milliamps here at 85.7 milliamps. If we move this guy over one, two, three decimal places, that'll give us that 85.7 milliamps. Okay, so our current here, we'll just draw it in as the, the full current value here, 0 0.0857 amps. And then the power there, well, it's just voltage times current. So in that case, we've got 120 times 0 0.0857, and that gives you a whopping 10.28 watts. Okay, nice simple first example there is just to show you that you don't always have to do the conversion. If you're looking at it, seeing some of the patterns there, then you may not have to do this conversion. Just do the 120 divided by 1.4 and it gives you 85.7 milliamps.